Hello everyone and welcome to Season 7, Episode 14 of Pro Wrestling's Top 50. I'm your host Travis McNeil and today we continue our countdown of the Top 50 matches in Chikara history with match number 37 on our list, which is the Golden Dream Triangle Trios match between the team of The Future Is Now of Jigsaw, Helios and Jimmy Equinox Olsen, the unstable of Vingerard and Stigma along with their partner Chuck Taylor, and the trio of Hallowicked, Eric Cannon, and Fire Ant from the Chikara Young Lions Cup 7 Night 3 event held on April the 16th of 2009. Um, this match, uh, maybe more so than any of the others uh, on this countdown so far, I don't really have like a ton of you know, detail and storyline and things like that to get into. Um, this match basically just existed to be an absolute fun thrill ride, and that is exactly what it is. It is so great. Uh, so the Golden Dream is a concept that Shikara would use, um, where it would basically take former champions um, and put them, you know, in various tag matches. Uh, the first one was held at the Negative Balance event in 2005 at the ECW Arena with the first four Young Lions Cup champions. Uh, it would be revisited a couple times, and at this point, this was the biggest one where Chikara basically did their version of a very famous Dragon Gate stipulation. Um, Dragon Gate in, I guess, it was probably 2003 when they were still Toriumon. Um, they did a very famous, like, triangle trios match like this. And then they actually upped it uh, a few weeks or a, a month later um, when they did, like, a four corners trios match that just, you know, if you've never seen that, watch it. It is some of the best, you know, intricate, crazy mile a minute wrestling that you will ever, ever see. But this was Chikara's version of it, and it is a fantastic thrill ride. Um, so you basically have all but two of the former Young Lions Cup champions in this match up until this point. Uh, the two that were missing were the late Larry Sweeney, um, who at this point, you know, was not in Chikara, um, you know, was battling a lot of personal demons, um, you know, and, and making, like, appearances in IWA Mid-South and AAW, um, you know, going under his real name of Alex Wybro that were... Um, you know, a, a little bizarre. I really don't know how else to, to phrase it. And, and you know, um, the, the man obviously had a, a lot going on at that point that I don't think, you know, a lot of people were too privy to, especially, you know, just general wrestling fans not knowing these people in real life. So um, he was not involved in this match. And also a Canadian wrestler, uh, Maxim Boyer from the IWS, uh, someone, again, you know, always near and dear to my heart. Um, he uh, defeated Eric Cannon to win the fourth iteration of the Young Lions Cup um, in late 2006. He was not a part of this match as well. He would make another appearance or two in Shakara, you know, after this time. Um, but again, he's kind of like the forgotten about Young Lions Cup champion because he was someone that, you know, really never kind of made it big. Uh, he mostly, you know, kind of toiled away in Canada. Shakara gave him that push. Uh, but he was in an era of, you know, one of those wrestlers that, you know, emulated Chris Benoit. Um, which, you know, obviously, you know, did, didn't really end up going too well. Um, but, you know, guys like Max Boyer and Josh Daniels and John Walters and, you know, those kind of like serious technical wrestlers that are very good. But, you know, just the independent wrestling landscape was really starting to shift. And those wrestlers, you know, were no longer gripping the audience when you had, you know, colorful characters like in Shikara and high flying wrestlers and, you know, just deathmatch wrestling and all of these, you know, great, you know, attractions that you could get on the indies. But to see, you know, two technical wrestlers go out and have a 20 minute match you know the crowd wasn't really reacting to it so Boyer's kind of lost you know in the the Chikara history books uh, but he was a Young Lions Cup champion and he was damn solid in the ring and if you know we ever do the IWS on this show which I feel like those ones won't get a lot of views but you know it would be fun for me you know I'm sure we'll talk at length about uh, Super Style Maxim Boyer uh, but anyways nine guys here they all have some sort of history and they're connected, which is kind of fun. So Jigsaw, uh, Helios, who was a ricochet under a mask. 
um, and uh, Jimmy Equinox Olsen. Uh, they comprised an actual stable called The Future Is Now. Speaking of stables, we had The Unstable, which was Vin Gerard's group of, of guys that wanted to tear down Chikara, and he had the former Shane Storm, now going by Stigma, and they, you know, teamed with one of the most dastardly villains in all of Chikara in Sexy Chucky T. Chuck Taylor. And then we kind of had the wild card oddball trio of the guys that didn't really fit anywhere with the anarchist Eric Cannon, the first Young Lions Cup champion Howl Wicked, and Fire Ant. Um, this match, you know, they do great little teases of like, hey, I know you, we used to team, or we used to feud, or we have similar move sets and everything like that throughout the match. Um, but really, this match is very short. It goes under 15 minutes, and it is just, you know, spot after spot after spot, very, you know, in that Dragon Gate style, which this match was, you know, no doubt set up for. Um, a point I'll mention, Chuck Taylor had, like, green spray-painted hair in this match. He had lost his hair recently to the Colony in a uh, masks versus hair tag team match. So um, the storyline was he tried to use some like hair growth formula thing that turned his hair green. I don't know. It was super weird. But it leads to a great moment in this match where he eats like a brutal Saido suplex from Eric Cannon. And it leaves like a skid of green paint on the, on the mat, which was a really cool visual. Um, we get, you know, just dives galore in this match. Um, we get all of the great Chikara, you know, normal multi-man Atomico staples. We get a nine-way suplex and like a triple surfboard and, you know, all of these great kind of little spots. Um, everybody's just flying all over the ring and there's head drops galore and big moves. Ricochet hits this great like twisting Sasuke special at one point. Um, Eric Cannon and Hallow Wicked try to launch Fire Ant for the Antipult, which is like an assisted kind of dive to the floor that you'll see Orange Cassidy use uh, with the best friends on AEW television now. But again, they're not really used to doing that move like Soldier Ant and, and uh, Green Ant would have been. So they launch him, like overshot him completely over the guys and into the crowd. It's a super scary spot, but thankfully it all turned out okay. Um, we get just like nutty, nutty, nutty dives in this. Uh, there's a great moment where Vin Gerard, you know, teases doing a dive and doesn't, uh, you know, just to be a, a dirty heel. And Eric Cannon cuts him off and superplexes him onto the pile on the floor. Now, that you know, that's a spot we see all the time now, but it was pretty unique in 2009. I remember seeing Amazing Red do it to a member of Special K in like a 2002 ROH scramble. And that was about it. So it seemed really fresh, you know, at this point. Um, we, you know, get this great, you know, um, Eric Cannon and, and Jimmy Olsen both have like awesome right hand, like knockout blows. They tease both doing them earlier and we get this spot where they both like hit each other with consecutive ones. That was really, really good. Um, just head drops. I know I've mentioned this big moves. Ricochet is like a round off into a reverse Rana on Chuck Taylor. And that was before, you know, every match had a poison Rana in it. There's Omega Drivers, and there's everything that you could possibly want in this match as far as crazy moves are concerned. And it leads to this great, great, great finish where Hallow Wicked, the first ever Young Lions Cup champion, wins the match for his team using the move he used to win the first Young Lions Cup, this Super Fisherman's Buster, and he hits it on Stigma, the former Shane Storm, the former partner of Mr. Zero, which was the man that Hallow Wicked defeated to win the first Young Lions Cup with that move. So it was an awesome little cherry on the top to tie it into the Chikara history. Um, I love this match. It is an absolute, you know, mile a minute spot fest. They do the Dragon Gate corner running spots. It's a loving tribute to Dragon Gate between nine awesome performers that were really all at their peak in this time range. You can watch this match, of course, on independentwrestling.tv. You can subscribe to my channel here on YouTube so that you never miss a video. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Wrestling50. And please join me again next time as we continue to count down Pro Wrestling's Top 50.